open up a command line window. Okay, we're just going to do a quick version check to make sure that we've got Subversion installed. As you can see here, I'm using 1.6.2, but your version may vary slightly. Okay, let's check that uh, we've got the repository directory installed correctly. Uh, if you're using the default, then you'll have the same directory as me. And a quick directory listing. Your contents will vary. Uh, here I've just got a test repository. You should have the module work pack installed. So we're just going to use the svn admin create command to create a repository, which I'm going to call my project. This is a new repository and there we can see my project, uh, the new repository, and we can look inside that directory and there's the contents. So we can see the database files, the hooks, the format, the conf, and so on. And we can do a quick check to make sure that we can access it through the SVN serve server, which you should have running if you've installed it as instructed. So we access it through this URL and we get an empty response, which is precisely what we expect to get. Now, the problem we've got here is that the repository as installed uh, won't have any protection on it. So we go in and we're going to edit just using any text editor. I'm going to use Notepad because it's a standard install on Windows. And I'm going to edit the svnserve.conf file. Now, the lines we're looking for are these two here. Uh, first of all, the anonymous access, which we're going to set to be none. Uh, this will disallow anyone from accessing our library, read or write, uh, unless they've got some kind of username and password. And just for the sake of being absolutely clear, I'm going to uh, set the author or authorised access to be write, which allows anybody with authorised access read and write, and change the password database uh, to make sure that that's active. So it will now ask for usernames and passwords in the password database. Uh, finally, I've changed my realm to make sure that uh, it's clear which repository you're going to be accessing. And finally, save the changes we've made to the svnserve.conf file. OK, so back on our command line, I'm now going to try and access my repository again, and this time it's prompting me for a username. Uh, or rather a password. Obviously I don't have any username or password set up at the moment so I can't authenticate. So to resolve this issue uh, we're going to look at the password file. So again I'm going to use notepad, you can use whatever text editor and this is a very simple file where you've just got a username separated by equals and then a password. So I'm going to create a user called Mark and I'm going to set my password to be something really imaginative like secret. Uh, you can add as many usernames and password pairs as you like in this file. It's not particularly secure, but it is quick and it does the job. So save that password file. And now I'm going to retry my uh, ls command, which is a read-only operation. Uh, this time, though, I'm going to specify uh, username. And I'm going to give it the new username mark, which I've just set up. So again, it's prompting me, but this time it says, what's the password for Mark? So I give it secret, which is my password, and I get a bank line back, which is what I expect. OK, now when I do it subsequently, you can see uh, it already knows the password. It's cached that, so it just carries on as normal. And we can remove the username as well, because it knows that this account is associated with the user Mark.